All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today, I wanna give you guys a quick video, a quick guide video, I guess, talking about IVs and EVs. This is mainly directed towards new pokey MMO players who have basically no idea what's going on. So let me just give you a quick backdrop of the background. I am playing, uh, not playing, I am breeding basically for uh, shiny Beldum. Uh, and so at the moment I am hatching my eggs. Uh, this is my last batch. I did a huge um, egg hatching stream the other day. Go check out my streams. If you if you haven't already, I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2.30 Pacific time. So just go check those out if you want to. But anyway, uh, for the IVs, basically what are they? I'm going to open up any Pokemon here. I'm just going to show you guys a Beldum, a random Beldum. Uh, and this is the stats page you're going to want to look at. It is the fourth tab over. So one, two, three, four. This is your uh, IVs page. And essentially, IVs are individual values. It's basically any number between zero and 31 that a Pokemon can have. Now, these Pokemon can be obviously bred like this or caught in the wild. And basically, the, the higher the number, the stronger the Pokemon. That's basically all you need to know. Um, 31 is the best possible. So if I was to open up the GTL and just search by like 31 for everything and sort by lowest, you can see this cryogonal. Not sure why it's so cheap, but yeah, as you can tell, this is what it would look like. It's all green across, total 186 out of 186. Um, yeah, that is what a perfect IV Pokemon looks like. I'm not, again, I don't know why it's so cheap, but um, that's what a perfect 31 uh, across all the stats are. Now, some Pokemon don't need specific stats. So like, let's take a look at Beldum, for instance. If I'm op to open up the Pokedex and just type in Beldum, uh, what I would like to do is just go to base stats on the Pokemon. And from here, you can see like, for instance, defense is really high. Special defense is really high. Attack is decently high. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, those are the times, not times, those are the moves and stats of the Pokemon like like stats basically that i would prioritize like of these categories like i wouldn't prioritize speed for instance because it's, it does it's already super low speed so it wouldn't it wouldn't help in that case right uh versus you know another pokemon like arcanine just just to you know give another example here it's got totally different stats right its attack is high its special attack is high its speed is high it doesn't really care about defense or special defense hp is like kind of whatever right so every pokemon is going to have different base stats and those are kind of generally what i would prioritize like your ivs on now how do you prioritize ivs basically by breeding you know that's the only way to like control it otherwise you would have um you know like just no say in it you know if you were to breed your own specific pokemon um you could breed using braces I, I have a whole breeding guide if you're confused about that just go check out that video um but yeah you could breed specifically like a 31 on the special attack for instance if you wanted your beldum to have 31 attack so that's kind of what the point of ivs are um, people spend a lot of money and time to breed Pokemon with perfect IVs. So again, that's the only way to control what IVs your Pokemon has. Uh, otherwise, you just don't have that control and it's up to the luck of, you know, whatever you catch in the wild. Um, so that's IVs in a shorts, in, in, in basically as short as possible. The other thing I wanted to talk about is EVs. So I'm going to just give this Typhlosion as an example. So EVs is found on the third page of a Pokemon summary. So one, two, three, this is EVs. Now these are what you can train. EVs is basically effort values. This is again, what you can control on your Pokemon. So basically it's any specific stat, you know, HP, attack, defense, whatever. It's any specific stat that you want to prioritize on that specific Pokemon. Now you can only do for the most part two or three ish that you want because you have 510 total and then max out at 252 and so uh for a typhlosion for instance for the typhlosion that i'm using um basically i want to prioritize special attack and speed now you can do this in a specific form by attacking certain pokemon so like let's just say i don't know let's just use psyduck because i've been shiny hunting that psyduck as you can tell it will ev yield one special attack so any specific pokemon pretty much every single pokemon out there in pokemon Mode will yield a certain number some are like plus two some are plus three of a certain special attack and what you do is basically just go find them in hordes and then just use a like discharge or surf or earthquake or like any aoe type move and you mow them down and then you get like plus 10 plus 5 in whatever category you're trying to train for um and this is helpful because again your pokemon can gain 252 evs in one stat and 510 overall but basically it's to 
help boost a specific Pokemon in whatever you're trying to accomplish with it. Um, and, and, and again, this is just for, you know, PvP. This is for the storyline. This is for anything, okay? So um, again, you can control it perfectly. What I would do is basically kind of the same thing. Just figure out what your Typhlosion or what your Pokemon is used for. As you can tell here, base stats, special attack, and speed are the highest. So I just wanted to boost those, you know? Any like extra advantage you can get in PvP or in gym runs or anything like that, any kind of PvE fighting that you're trying to do as well is going to be, you know, highly benefited by uh, training EVs. And it doesn't take that long too. Um, I will be coming up with a list, if it's not out already, of the best EV training spots for each type. HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. I don't think I'm going to do a breakdown by region because videos like that have already been done, but I will just do one for the best in every spot. Um, so yeah, go be on on the lookout for that but that's basically it for uh ivs and evs if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll try my best to answer it this is like obviously a very high level very just like quick ramble of what they are um there's honestly not a whole lot to explain when it comes to it it's just certain numbers are obviously better than certain other numbers but uh yeah for the most part when it's green it looks good you know 31 looks good 252 looks good um that's basically what you want to go for uh for the most part and again evs you can control ivs you cannot just make sure you remember that so for the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and uh as always i will see you when i see you um yeah have a good day guys and peace